If you want to know how to change a livery on cop cars or overall GTA cars that is using the YFC livery format, which will look like this. If you go to open it, you'll see that there is nothing here, but you see there's a texture here. And you want to know how to change this. Well, the first thing you're going to need is Texture Toolkit. And this program can be found on GTA 5 mods by searching Texture Toolkit or by looking in the description and clicking the link that is going to direct you to this page here. Once you're here, just hit the green download and then go ahead and just drag this over to your desktop. Go ahead and close that, you don't need that anymore. And once you're here, go ahead and extract to your desktop. Now go ahead and open this. And once you have opened it, go ahead and click Texture Tool, which is a application in here. And once you're here, go ahead and go to File, Load, go to your desktop and go ahead and click the YFT or wherever your cars are or wherever the YFT file is. Could be in your server folders or something. Go ahead and click the one that you wish to edit. Uh, once you're here, now the next step is going to be very critical. You're going to make sure that the, the name of your DDS file, and this has to be DDS, not a PNG image, has to be DDS. Make sure that the name is the same as the embedded texture or this will not load and it will not work. Our reasons being, it has to match the same name has to match the same format. Pretty much everything has to be the same. So if you go ahead and edit this, uh, we can go ahead and throw an example on this. If this is just a random name, then and we go to import and we try to import this, nothing will happen. It's just gonna sit here or have a problem and it's just not gonna work overall. We gotta make sure that this is the same name and you can go ahead and do so by just simply renaming it. Go to import and then just go ahead and import it again and you'll see that it is now changed. Once you're done, you can go ahead and hit save. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close the tool because it's basically saved. And how you double check that is just open this with open IV. And we're going to go ahead and view embedded textures, which will be at the bottom right of this program. And you can see that we have a different texture in here than at the start of the video. Now, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and drag this simply over to your resource folder or wherever your car is located. If it's already there, then you don't have to do this step. Now, because my YFT is located on my desktop here, what I'm going to simply do is just drag it into my resource folder and replace the file. Now, what I'm going to do from here is load my server to make sure that my new livery is implemented onto my vehicle. All right, so now that we're in game here, we're going to go ahead and spawn in our vehicle. Now, if we go to vehicle options here and we go to vehicle liveries, there will be nothing here. And that is because we have no YTD livery. We are using a YFT mod kit. So we'll go to mod menu and we'll go to livery and we'll simply just move it over and you will see that our livery is applied to our cop car. If you have any questions with this, you can feel free to join my discord and ask uh, how to do this. If you're having any problems, more than willing to help you out with that. Um, if you're interested in the cop car, the Tebex link for this vehicle will be in the description below. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for the support. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment if you're having any issues and subscribe to the channel.